During this year's AACR 2023, I had the privilege of presenting the results from Keynote 966 on behalf of my co-investigators, which was a randomized phase three trial of the combination of gemcitabine plus cisplatin with pembrolizumab, the immune checkpoint inhibitor, versus gemcitabine and cisplatin with placebo. The rationale for this trial is that biliary tract cancers, such as cholangiocarcinoma and gallbladder cancer, are rising in incidence worldwide, and they remain an area of unmet need with very poor prognosis and limited treatment options. Chemotherapy with gemcitabine and cisplatin has been the standard of care for over a decade, but unfortunately, median survival is still not where we want it to be, and we need better treatments. The chemotherapy does seem to modulate the immune microenvironment, leading to the rationale that maybe adding an immune checkpoint inhibitor to that chemotherapy could improve outcomes. So in Keynote 966, a total of 1,069 patients were randomized to either the triplet of gemcitabine, cisplatin, and pembrolizumab, or placebo plus the same chemotherapy. And with that sample size, Keynote 966 is the largest randomized phase three trial to date in advanced biliary cancers to our knowledge. Patients were enrolled in a um, broad global population, around 45% uh, were of Asian race and enrolled at an Asian center. Around 90% of patients had um, a metastatic disease. And the most common anatomic subsite was intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma in uh, about 60% of patients. For the primary endpoint of overall survival, the median overall survival was higher in the pembrolizumab arm at 12.7 months by comparison to 10.9 months for the uh, placebo arm um, with a hazard ratio of um, 0.83 that met the pre-specified level of significance to be statistically significant. And the Kaplan-Meier curves did separate early and were sustained over the course of treatment. Progression-free survival was a secondary endpoint. And um, though the median progression-free survival was higher in the pembrolizumab plus keytruder arm at 6.5 months, it did not reach, um, compared to 5.6 months, it did not reach statistical significance under the, the pre-planned level of significance. Though again, the curves did visually separate and we saw higher proportions progression-free at clinically relevant time points, including 6, 12, and 24 months. Objective response was 29% in both treatment arms, um, which was no difference between the two, obviously, but the duration of response was substantially longer for the pembrolizumab plus gemcitabine and cisplatin arm compared to the placebo plus gemcitabine and cisplatin arm, the median duration of 9.7 months for the triplet. And so that is what we expect from immune checkpoint inhibitor therapies to see long responses and supports the hypothesis that the duration of response is in part due to immune responses. Safety was very similar between the two studies. The all-cause grade three at a uh, grade three or higher adverse event rate, grade three or four adverse event rate was um, about 79% in the pembrolizumab, gemcitabine, cisplatin arm versus 75% for the um, gemcitabine, cisplatin, and placebo arm. The grade five rate was 6% in the pembrolizumab plus chemo arm versus 9% for the placebo plus chemo arm. So again, very similar without any safety signals. And the rates of discontinuation were identical, 7% for both drugs being discontinued in each arm. So very reassuring that we didn't see a significant safety signal overall. And then looking at specifically immune-mediated adverse events, we saw uh, a profile that was very similar to what you'd expect for a checkpoint inhibitor as monotherapy. So to conclude and wrap all of these data together, we saw a significant improvement in overall survival, trends towards improvement in progression-free survival, though not significant, and longer duration of response suggesting that adding pembrolizumab to gemcitabine plus cisplatin does increase the chances of a durable response. And it did improve the landmark proportions of patients surviving um, at the at key time points that we care about in the clinic, including um, at the two year mark, 24 months, there were 25% of patients surviving in the pembrolizumab chemo arm versus only 18% in the placebo plus chemo arm. Mm -hmm.